Hello guys, um, today we're going to play with a uh, Suzuki diagnostic system. I got me one of these online um, on eBay. Um, you can find them uh, either uh, with a CD or a flash drive. And uh, they're not that expensive. And uh, I'll let you hook up to your outboard motor and uh, check for codes and all the data from the engine. So. We're gonna check it out. And uh, the kit I got comes with uh, the two plugs. Um, I heard the small plugs for the newer models and the big square plug, the big round plug, excuse me, it's for uh, older outboard motors. And this is the little flash drive where the program's at. And guys, um, I swear to God, I always thought this was a relay <laughs> or a fuse, but it's not. This is the, the data port uh, the connector. Check that out, this little small plug. And I thought it was a fuse or a micro relay or something. <laughs> And that is where it connects. And uh, if it was a bigger outboard, I mean, you, you just turn the key on and it'll power the ECM. But uh, you'll see here that uh, plugging it in, even though I have the electric start and I got a battery hooked up, it doesn't power the ECM. See, the lights off. Cause the ECM actually gets power from the, um, the stator and the, the regulator it gets power from there uh, once it's running so the battery is just from my electric start it has to be running um, for it to uh, be powered up and communicate with my computer so once I fire it up you can see the light it's on now I can't communicate sure it's peeing water and I got it hooked up to my laptop and this is the 8.3 version uh, you click right here and this is uh, what I got access to service data current service codes actuator tests and here guys, we can see uh, the live uh, information from the engine. RPM, temperatures. My RPM is, gauge is pretty accurate. That's pretty cool. What else we got here? You can see battery voltage and the percentage for throttle, even the neutral switch, the fuel injector, the fuel mounts, intake temperature, it's a bunch of stuff, all your sensors. And uh, also you can go to uh, the hours, you can read the hours. I got 18 hours on the 9.9. .9. And uh, how much time has been uh, running in uh, whatever RPM range. And these are uh, failures, I got zero. I guess, no codes. Actuator tests. Let's see what we got. Okay, it's right here in the corner. You can stop a few injectors. Okay, it tells you to make sure it's in neutral. Even the fuel pump, you can activate it. I'll make 
make sure the agent's not running, okay. So you can do a couple tests. Alright, we already look at this. That's all service data. Okay, history. It's impressive, I mean, for a small engine. I mean, it's up to date and technology. Now you can see the red line, the RPM went up. I'm gonna hook up the 20 horsepower ECM and see what's up. All right, I got it on already. I'm gonna. Connect it to the computer and see what it reads. It has a 20 horsepower. I right, open the program again. That BCM simulator, I don't know what that is, but I cannot click on it. Okay, now here in the bottom now it says power 20 PS and the ECM is the 89020, so the, horse, the 20 horsepower. So I got cylinder temperature 127. Let's check out the hours. Okay, I just got seven hours. So in total, this motor, this motor has uh, 26 hours. I got seven hours on the 20 horsepower. It's been running for two minutes between two and 300 RPM. Yada, yada, yada. It's really cool. So if I ever run into an issue, engine light or whatever, it will be stored here in the history something good to have I don't have any problems right now and I doubt I'll have problems with this little motor but this is something nice to have so I decided to get me one not that expensive something cool guess if you have a bad sensor or whatever I could go back to this now I don't know what's going on pretty cool Shit, hell yeah. I never opened the friggin' breather. <laughs> That's why it's like, it ran out of gas. Still have pressure, it's just, they couldn't suck anymore. You don't want to crank it more than five seconds.
a disconnect in there. Somehow it popped off. I don't know, I don't know, touched that. Popped off by itself. That's crazy. Yeah. Now it's going out. Yeah, that was really hard. Now I will start. Get to open up the breather. <laughs> then I hooked up to the system again to see if uh, I had any codes from what just happened, and I noticed uh, it overheated. See, it's got one count for overheating. I think uh, it's trigger at 190 um, degrees Fahrenheit, 194, something like that. Because it's normally running like 150. It's uh, cylinder temperature. First, where is it at? Cylinder temperature right here, 131. It's at 131. I've seen it at 150 something, but uh, overheats at like 194 or something like that. So my dumb ass got it really hot, like cranking it so many times, and you know, there was no water running through it. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.